See, I'm, I'm right there. I'm, yeah. coming, I'm coming down. I'm here. Really important to here. me that this is boom. really important to me. Like, go to the top again. Yep. I want those hands down fast. Yep. Because so many people, I, I'll see them transfer their weight, and they leave their hands back here. You've got to get the hands down. So by the time the weight's to the left heel, I want the hands at the belt. So now I can just turn the corner and get released. Because if I get, you know, people talk about the downswing, the transition is always from the lower body. I think it's, it's a half truth. Half truth. Because if I go like this, right, and my hands only move the same distance, if there's any lateral at all, right, there's some, very little when I get my hip in the right place. But my point is, when I get to the left side, if I'm loaded up over the right side and I get to here, well, if my hands only move the same distance as my hips, let's say that's three inches or four, whatever. It's not. When you look at good players, any transfer, the hands are probably moving six times faster than the lower body, right? Because the hands, 100%. they've got to go from here to here in the time the hips maybe go to there. So I got to have fast hands. I think most amateurs, what is over the top? Over the top is when I start unwinding and I don't start swinging. Right hands side. are above shoulder level. Chest is already moving. You You're closing down, down the space between right side and the ball. Look where it's going, guys, right. every now time. I can, now I can cover, right? Yep. So when people have slow hands, this is unwinding. Now my hands are out there. Now I'm going to get across it, right? This is, you guys, absolute gold. I have incredibly fast hands, thanks to yeah. Todd. My hand speed helps me create lag, helps me stabilize the face, helps my ability to rotate more. Guys, we're not talking this. We're not talking hand speed, shut everything down. Here we go, ready? And by the way, that was pretty good. striped, you know? But the whole point is, the whole point is, guess what? I, pr I show this to people who, I call it chesting it. We do this drill, we did it with a player from USC not too long ago, had him hit balls for two hours. You're gonna love this one. Where no rotation was, was made. And look how far I can hit the ball yeah. with just my arms and hands. Okay, and then you're gonna hear from the world, oh, no, 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 rotate out in front of it. Well, hey, guess how far I can hit it when I'm already out in front of it? Nothing, right? So the whole point being is that the hand speed, my hands, and this is the way I illustrate this, here's the finish line right here. I don't spend time having my hands hang out over here. I get my hands immediately as to that finish line. As fast as you can, right? And as fast as I humanly can, and you know what's funny? For most, Every single time I work on this, guess what? They rotate more. Yeah. Because as Todd, this was to me was one of my favorite analogies you gave me. You gave it a lot with the short game, but I took it into the long game also. It's like a horse race. Common sense. Outside horse. Inside horse. I wanted to have a photo finish with everything arriving together, right in front of each other. Well, guess what? This guy, my dad, by the way, this is really cool, I gotta tell you this. My dad used to take the stuff I'd learned from Todd and I have to say, I had a really good advantage. My dad was really good at translating whatever. I, I, I had to. He, I, he flew to Chicago for a week, <laughs> yeah. had to absorb it. Yeah. I was good at taking the lesson, but my dad had to He's take great, that information. Yeah. He helped me apply it when I was not around Todd till next time. And what, da, what, da, what dad did when he had Todd explain this to me, he took Ben Hogan and took a swing sequence of Ben Hogan. Somebody who was the initiator of, hey, fire and let's not forget the guy was more connected than anybody ever. Like right yeah. here and just right in front of him the whole yeah. time. But here's the big thing. He draws a dot, black dot on his belt. He goes, Adam, the black dot moved approximately five inches right here. Here are his hands. By the time the dot was back to the ball, the hands were down below the pocket. By the time the belt was out in front of the golf ball, the hands were right there in front of the dot. Yeah. My dad goes, well, hold on a second here. He goes, Adam, he's ripping his hips open. Yes, he looks like he's really open, but his hands just covered six feet. Yeah. And his hips only turned 10 inches. Well, that's the thing. If you can't, if your hands aren't here, you have to slow down and wait for everything to catch up if your hands are here. But if your hands are down here, well, then you can really get on top of it. Yeah, here. so a like, quick example. Like, watch the hand speed, okay? Watch my hands relative to my hips. And people say, oh man, your hips just fire open. Well, guess what? Fast hands. Okay? Like I used to tell Bo Hostler all the time when I was working for you out in Chicago, dude, get the hands in the club all the way to your back as soon as possible. And man, did he play well with that thought. Yeah. Killed it in a couple US Opens. Won a Western trying to get that club in hands to his back as fast yeah. as possible. Yeah, you can't, cool. you can't get rid of the club fast enough. Awesome. That was cool. Hey, good stuff. Right. Another good one. At Forzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. 
We do this through simplicity. Our Full Swing Masterclass will take you on a step-by-step, easy-to-understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.